So we're in the main machine room that houses the new Archer system. You can see it over my shoulder in the background. Um, it's a fairly, from this angle, it's a fairly dull set of boxes, but the range of science applications and the range of socioeconomic applications that come out of it make a really exciting opportunity for Edinburgh and for the UK community as a whole. Well, universities really driven forward the whole use of computers, and actually the University of Edinburgh has been at the leading edge of that. We've been involved in, in this type of computing now for 30 years, and we really at the birth of, of, of computational science as a discipline. Edinburgh University is, is, is being really core in that. It grew out of the physics department, but now it has a broad range of applications across any number of different scientific and engineering disciplines. It, it, it's, it's roughly 70,000 times as powerful as a standard laptop. Something that would take you a year to do on your laptop can then be done in a matter of minutes. So, you know, calculations are essentially impossible. They take years and years to do. It can be done in a realistic time, so you're able to do much more powerful things. It pushes the front of your back. Okay, so to, to give you one example, at the moment there are, I'm a seismologist, so I work on earthquakes, and there are kind of hints that there are little uh, clusters of events that sometimes occur before big earthquakes. It would be very interesting to see how common those are if we can process the data to find smaller events below the current detection threshold by using a machine like this to process a huge amount of data every day in the same way that an astronomer might stack lots of data to find new objects in the sky. Well some of the new applications that we're seeing I mean are, are really interesting because they're much more able to be tied to the socioeconomic impacts for, 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 for the man on the street, people like my family not just my colleagues. Um, so things like um, climate modeling is a, a very big issue and understanding what the likely end, how quick that climate's likely to change, how far that will go is, is a, a important in terms of understanding what the future lives of people will be like. On more day-to-day -day things, designing more efficient planes, more efficient cars, more fuel efficiency is important for everybody. That more fuel efficiency, it, it saves money, reduces pollution. This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh.